Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and for this one, gonna be reviewing Star Trek The Motion Picture. And, cause it was shown at theaters, and me and Little Blue, we had we saw it, cause, um, you know, having its anniversary and such, and, um, yeah. And definitely cause Little Blue and I been, had been planning this, and definitely, and Little Blue has, has been wanting me to see it on the big screen. Definitely. And yeah, and you know, I've seen it before, you know, and who hasn't, even for Star, even being a Star Trek fan. And I will say, because uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture, it is a pretty good film, uh, a Star Trek film. Even for, it's, even though, because like, because it, when it first came out, it was, I guess it was kind of mixed, you know, it was, it was good and not as successful, you know. Um, for me, I, because I think, I think it'd have to be in my, I think it'd have to be, I want to say number eight, yeah, pro either number eight or nine's, uh, favorite Star Trek film, for me, so, you know. Um, but the opening to Star Trek The Motion Picture with the Klingons, that, that's a really good shot, that's one of Little Blue's favorites. Um, and the music, of course, by the great Jerry Goldsmith is fantastic, and of course, with the refit constitution, like, that's... I have a mix of that's. I think that uh, is probably my favorite uh, Enterprise. A law, uh, a mix between that, the Enterprise, and the Enterprise D and E. Just saying, um, and yeah, because I'm some of you, including me, kind of because it kind of felt you know it was kind of feeling like a little bit of 2001: A Space Odyssey. Um, some parts were slow. Um, especially the part with, uh, V'ger. Like, okay, like, actually, because when me and Lil Blue saw that in theaters, it, you know, to us, I don't think it wasn't that long, you know? It was still, it was still slow and such, but kind of went by fast, you know? Um, when you think about it, so, like, when you see movies that are that long and such, it go by fast. So, you know. Um, some of the characters are good, like, uh, of course, the original, the original, the original crew and such, you know, the Enterprise crew, Kirk, Spock, McCoy... Uh, and with the other characters like Elia, Elia, yeah, and Decker, they're good as well. And, you know, fun fact is, though, because I found out, because Decker, who was captain of the refit Enterprise, but, of course, Kirk took over, Decker is the son of Decker from the episode of the of the original series, uh, Doomsday, Doomsday Machine. So Decker from Doomsday Machine is the father of Decker in the motion picture. So that that's really cool. That's really cool. Um... And there were some good parts to it, and the visual effects are fantastic, uh, you know, especially because ever, because, you know, even, like, the the cast, the, the, the cast of Star Trek and, like, Leonard Nimoy had gave a big thanks to George Lucas, because, you know, ever since Star Wars, ever since Star Wars, and with Industrial Lights and Magic being born, you know, they helped with, with some of the Star Trek films, and starting with Star Trek The Motion Picture. So, you know, uh, yeah, does show, does show. Um, but yeah, and, um, and some of the, and one of my few favorite thing, one of my few favorite scenes from the film is definitely the wormhole, the wormhole scene, uh, cause it's such a cool scene because of, like, the visual, the effects and such, and their voices slowing down, you know, stand by on phasers, that is so cool, um, that's, again, that's one of my favorites, you know, and, I can't remember. We didn't get the appearance. We didn't get to see any phaser action, you know, from the Enterprise. Just torpedoes. Um, but yeah, because of the torpedoes hitting the asteroid. But yeah, still. Um, and uh, another thing is like the big reveal and such of V'ger and Voyager. That was really cool. Um, and the music, like, because of course the ending. I just want to Kurt. One of the last lines Kurt gives, you know, that way. You know, set a course that away you know uh funny and yeah the there are some funny there are good funny moments in there too cause, and one of our one of one thing that little blue one of little blue's favorite funny moments is with uh a a wave or like something coming towards them and like spock you know co make contact and such like any day now just you know like now you know just kirk saying that to spock that's funny that's funny mccoy of course he has some good laughs and with his with him appearing on the enterprise because with a beard and such you know uh that's funny uh, you know just a moment captain sir they drafted me yeah so mccoy is hilarious in that um uh also because um 
Yeah, and again, the music is fantastic, and the and the main the and the theme to Star Trek Motion Picture, which would be that is composed by Jerry Goldsmith, and that would all that would be in other Star Trek films, including uh, being the main theme for Next Generation. That is probably by far my all time favorite Star Trek theme. Now, don't get me wrong the the original theme to Star Trek, you know, from that we heard from the original series, and that would also be in. The J.J. Abrams Star Trek, you know, na 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 na. It's good, it's good. But the Star Trek theme, that da na 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 na, that's probably by far my all-time favorite. It definitely is. But yeah. So that being said, guys, with Star Trek the Motion Picture, you know, I give it oh uh, probably seven out of ten stars. I mean, it's mixed. It's it is good, but not as successful. You know. Um, I mean, because even with, because with Wrath of Khan, when that came out, you know, that kind of pretty much saved the franchise, and it was a much better Star Trek film, and even for it being a sequel, you know. So anyway, so if that said, with all that said, you know, Star Trek the motion picture, um, yeah, seven, yeah, the fingers, seven out of ten stars, it's, it's okay, like, it's an okay Star Trek film, even for it being the first Star Trek film, so, you know. But anyway, so if that said, Star Trek the Motion Picture, it's an okay Star Trek film. Seven out of seven out of ten stars, it's it's an okay Star Trek film, even for it being the first. But anyway, so if that said, hope you enjoyed this review video. More new videos coming your way. They're gonna be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace out, and live long and prosper.